We call this bed chamber the Lafayette bed chamber because this is where the Marquis de Lafayette stayed on his visit when he returned to America after the American Revolution in 1784. He stayed in this space for 10 days, and although there were many guests who stayed here at Mount Vernon, the Marquis de Lafayette was really the most special to George Washington, and George Washington chose to commemorate that by placing a portrait of the Marquis de Lafayette in this space. This bed chamber is really one of the more impressive bed chambers here at Mount Vernon, both architecturally and with the scene it provides for the guests to see. There are two windows in here as opposed to the one in many of the other bed chambers, and it looks out onto a magnificent view of the Potomac River. The space is decorated with a bedstead that is an 18th century design, and it is decorated with chintz hangings, which are fabric hangings with printed cotton in multiple colors, which would have been very fashionable in the 1770s to the 1790s when the Washingtons were here in residence. Now, as I said before, there were many guests here at Mount Vernon staying in these bed chambers. It was almost like a hotel here. The bed chamber would be taken down after a guest left and another guest could come in and stay. So many guests stayed in this particular space during during the time George and Martha Washington lived here. It would have been really a guest room, as all of these spaces are upstairs. Guest room, and sometimes family would have stayed in these spaces as well. It just depended on who was here at a given point in time.